Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add and remove users from groups in ServiceNow. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now you can see here that I have an incident open on the screen. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate is that we are going to add a user to the incident management assignment group. Now you'll see here, I've already added that assignment group to this incident. And if I click on the lookup using list button, this is going to show me all of the users that are currently in this assignment group. So you can see right now there is only one user in this group and the user's name is incident manager. After we add another user to the assignment group, we're going to be able to come back into this incident record, see that user and assign the incident to them. All right, now to add a user to an assignment group or to remove a user from an assignment group, you want to place your cursor in the filter navigator and you want to search for groups. Now you'll notice that there are a ton of different menu options that reference the word groups. You want to scroll down and you want to click on the groups option under the user administration menu grouping. So I'll go ahead and click on groups. And this is going to bring up a list of all of the groups that exist in your ServiceNow instance. Now what you want to do is search for the group that you want to amend from this list. I'll scroll down and I'm going to click into the incident management group. And this is going to bring up the group record or the group form where you can actually amend details about this group. Now you'll notice that there is a tab called group members. This is the tab that you want to click on if you want to add users to this group or if you want to remove users from this group. And as you can see here, right now there is currently only one user added to this group and that is the incident manager that we just saw when we looked at the incident record. Now in order to add a user to this group, you wanna go ahead and click on the edit button and this is going to bring you into the edit members page. Now you can see here on the right hand side, this is the group members list for that group that we just selected, incident management. And you can see here that one user that's in this group. Now, if I wanna add a user into this group, I can search for that user, I can select them, and then I can press the right arrow to add them into that group. And you can see here that I was able to add that person into the group. Now I'll just go ahead and add one more. And if you want to remove a user from the group, then again, you would follow the same steps to get to this page. You would select that user that you want to remove. In this case, I'm going to remove Abraham Lincoln from this list. And this time you wanna press the left arrow. And if I hover my cursor over it, you can see that it says remove, and that's going to remove the user from that group. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click save. All right, now you can see here that the change has been made. You can see here under the group members tab that the additional user Able Tutor that we just added is now featured on this group. So that means whenever we try to assign a record to the incident management group, now we'll be able to select from either the incident manager or Able Tutor this user that we just added. Now let's go ahead and let's have a quick look at that incident record again, just to demonstrate that the user is now featured in that assignment group. All right, now I've brought my incident record back up and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the assignment group to incident management. And now when I click on the lookup using list in the assign to field, you can see here that the user that we just added is now displayed in this assignment group. So we were able to add that user into the group and ensure that they're available for selection in fields like the assigned to field. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to add a user to an assignment group. You can also use the steps outlined in this tutorial to remove a user from an assignment group in ServiceNow as well. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.